Hey, how's it going? This is how to drill a carburetor emulsion bleeds. This is what we're going to need. Got some number drill bits, brass set screws, 632nd, some pin vices, and pin gauges. Yeah, let's get this right over here. Quick side note. You can buy pre-sized bleeds. Some metering blocks will be able to use them, but not all. The reason is right here where the emulsion bleeds screw in. This area is a quick fuel block is larger. On this BLP block, it's much smaller. So for the BLP block, you have to use the internal Allen hex on the left. And for the quick fuel block, you can use the internal handle axe or the rounded head slot for screwdriver. Personally I like internal Allen hex as you can see on this metering block. Okay what we're going to do here is I got an example. See this? This is a larger set screw for an example. It's got a concave, con you know, concave tip. We're going to take a drill bit and use that to center it. Drill all the way through. Only with smaller with the brass set screws. Check out my drill. I like to use an old drill. Needed wear by clamping my good drill, and of course, don't buy a cheap pin vise. This one right here is has a metal nut, metal collet, but the threads and housing is plastic, and it cracked due to excessive tightening. So I just keep it around for an example. This one here. Nice and brass looking, but who knows? It's six bucks on Amazon. It's got four size collets, both reversible, one in the front, and one in the rear. Large sizes come in handy for when I have a larger part that I have to use my other number of drill bits set. Another quick tip. Put yourself out a nice handy list for your number sizes to the actual decimal size. Roll her up, slide in your box, and you always got it. Okay, get my little number drill bit set out. Which, by the way, you can find these in hobby stores, but probably cheaper to get them online. I'm going to drill these bleeds to 26 thousandths. Shuck up my bit. Nice and tight. Get one of these set screws. Make sure they're Coming in, sticking out, slide it in, just snug her up in the drill. Boom, oil in this cap. And now I am a human lathe. Light pressure, because these are small bits. 
and slow and medium speed. Chips off. Towards the end, the bit's going to want to grab. Sometimes it'll spin in the collar. I have to go slow. right here. They're nice and numbered. Got these little plastic caps. 26 thousandths. Right there. She just fits nice and snug. See? <laughs> I doubt you can see that. Put back in case. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Peace out. Forgotten tip 47. Using my little screwdriver to get it out of there. Blow it out. Don't drop it. Make sure there's no chips in there. If so, just take the drill bit and knock it out.